Hi guys, so this is Emily's vlog but she wants me to do her vlog because I think she's a bit shy today but today, tonight we're going to talk about the unboxing of the Weeble S so the Weeble S is sort of like coming to the end of our story in terms of buying camera gear because we started off, we bought the a6400 Sony we did our research and we found that the 6400 was sort of value, dollar, value for dollar, probably the best kind of video and photograph camera in a, in a value rank. And so we thought that we'd go for the A6400. And up to that time, Emily's just been doing her vlog using her Samsung phone, which has actually been really good. And she's done all her video editing on her Samsung phone as well. But we thought if we're going to really um, produce some quality video, we needed to upgrade and have a camera that we could use. And so we decided, we did our shopping, we did our investigation, we did our research, and we thought that the 6400 would be great. So we bought the 6400, and then we realized very quickly that having a camera is only just part of the equation. So what you need to do is, along with the camera, you've got to have the tripod. So we got the tripod, camera sitting on the tripod now when I'm talking to you and that's all awesome and then we thought but that's all very well what happens when you want to carry the, the camera around and look at things and talk to people and you know walk and have it in the car so then we thought okay we'll get the little um, the handpiece which Emily unboxed some time ago and you know it's a little tripiece hand uh, handpiece tripod handpiece and you can hold it and it's got controls on it for photo, video, zoom and it was really cool and it was actually you know not that expensive and we thought well that's going to solve that whole problem and then we realized after that that you needed to have some decent mic so you could hear what you're saying so we had the camera, we got the tripod, we got the little handheld tripod so that we could carry the camera around then we researched mics and we looked at all of our mics and we thought okay you can either get a boom mic or one that sits on the phone um, but then you know you can only pick up the sound that's oh, sorry not the phone near the camera so you can only pick up sound that's kind of by the camera so then we looked at these remote mics and I'm wearing one now so the remote mic we've got one sitting on the camera which picks up everything around the camera and then we have this wireless one which picks up obviously you're hearing me so I could walk away in fact I'll walk away now see you and I'm way down here now and you can still hear me talking on the mic so we're now completely remote with our mic and we're completely, um, we have everything at our camera so we thought fantastic that's it we've spent all this money we've got the camera we've got the tripod we've got the handheld tripod we've got the mic we're set <coughs> So then we went for a week-long staycation up to Fujura. And then we realized we did our, our week-long staycation to Fujura at the um, Intercontinental and we took all of our camera gear with us. And um, then of course we had the little handheld uh, tripod in the car with us while we were traveling and taking um, you know, shots while we traveled. And we very quickly realized that <clears throat> the unfortunate thing was that there's no steady shot facility in the camera. And unlike the Samsung phone that we've been using, the Samsung phone, we had a gimbal with it. And uh, it was a really cheap gimbal and it worked only with the phone, but it was very effective because it took out all of the, the bumps and the movement of the camera while you're in a car or while you're walking or while you're you know you're attempting to take shots and so 
We then realised that we had the best, we had a great camera, we had great mics, we had everything that we needed, except now we didn't really have um, a gimbal, which is what we really needed um, to make sure that when you're in a, uh, you know, in a bumpy environment like a car or travelling or walking around, you've got a steady shot with the camera. And so that's what led us to the next step, uh, and here it is. And now I'm going to um, unbox it so that you can see what it is we've bought. And um, I just uh, need to undo this. Have a knife, thank you. Okay, so so you've just got to. Sometimes the packaging is really good in these things. You you know they've got them really well protected. But yeah, open it up and see what we've got inside. We haven't actually opened this box yet, obviously. So um, we've seen it, but we haven't yet opened our own one. So out it comes, and as you can see. It's got its own protective um, foam pack. So we'll just rip into this. We won't use this plastic again, so I don't need to try and save that. So we've obviously got the uh, information comes with a, um, a warranty, obviously, and a service card. That's our service card for warranty, and all of the warranty instructions, and the pieces that come with it. And so it also has, obviously, what's inside, all the pieces that come with it. And if you can read Chinese, you read that side, and if you read English, you read this side. So I'm not fluent in Chinese, so I'll read this side. And this is it, this is our Viva Lest. and really well packed, Oop. take it off like that, there. So the first thing we've got is the actual gimbal itself, and this is the gimbal, and the thing about the gimbal, it's actually, it's quite weighty, but um, we've been told that it's actually, um, you know, it's um, one of the lighter ones around. So the gimbal, actually, your camera fixes on here, obviously. You've got your framework here. Um, and this is made specifically for the size of camera we've got, the 6400. And um, clearly it's got um, some hand controls here, so when you're videoing, you can turn your video on, you can um, zoom, and you can um, do some other bits and pieces, um, there's a function key here, so clearly there's you know, some f-stop and some other ISO settings that you're probably going to be able to set with this, but the primary function, as you're holding it, the primary function of it is to make sure that any movement of the camera while you're in a, in a moving situation is taken out. It gimbals the camera so that the camera shot remains steady. And so, you know, this is really important when you're moving from location to location, you don't have a fixed tripod. And the last video logs that have been done um, at the Intercon in Fijira, you'll see there's, there's quite a lot of movement, um, except for a couple of shots where we actually had the camera fixed on a tripod. So while it's in this situation, while I'm talking to you, in a log situation, we've got it on a tripod and clearly it's just steady as a rock. You don't have to move it around. But, um, so the Weevil S, um, is the thing which is going to enable us to um, make those changes. So the camera fixes on here, um, so let's have a look at what else comes with it. Um, we obviously have the rechargeable batteries and coming with the rechargeable batteries is a little charging frame and that connects through a USB cable. It looks about the same as a Android or um, Samsung type charger port but you can recharge the batteries and then they will go into the um, Xeon and um, uh, they, uh, 
they can be, um, they'll go in there somewhere, we haven't yet figured that out. So that's your battery and your charger pack there. Um, you then have this thing here which is um, quite good because what this actually does is this fixes on the actual frame and it actually is an additional support if you have a zoom lens. So if you can see this, this is the, the picture that shows the frame and then it shows this extension here which comes out from the frame and it actually supports if you actually have a long or a telescopic lens, that piece is quite important because it will actually support the weight of the lens when you're holding it up and it won't actually, you know, put all of the weight on the frame or on the camera body. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how to fit that. We're going to figure all of this out of course, but um, and it's going to take a little bit of time, but that's what that piece is for. And then importantly, this piece here obviously is the tripod. So the tripod is clearly so that you can set it down um, wherever you want to set it down, um, similar to as we have it on a big tripod right now. And you can put that either at the bottom, so you've got clearly the ability to, where you're holding it by hand, you can then just put your tripod out and set it down like so and uh, that can just close up if you're holding it by hand or we can hold it like that. The other thing about this tripod which is quite cool is that you can fix it here on the Zoom and you can use that when you're doing your low shots. So if you're actually wanting to take shots with the camera low to the ground you can just hold it there and it will actually just support the camera when you want to walk along, so if I'm doing my shot and I'm talking and I want to actually uh, change from that to down here, you can just simply support it like that. You can take shots with that being held like that. So that's actually pretty cool as well. And so you've got the two options with that piece there. Um, and that's a really nice feature of this particular model of the Vibeles. This is... Um, not sure what this is, I think. Uh, this is something that you can put in the frame here and it will be for a smaller camera. Um, so again, not quite sure how to fit it. It goes in there like that, um, like so. And if you have a smaller camera, it's just as a base that you can use for putting a smaller camera on. Um, and then you have obviously all of the cables and wires that you're going to need for charging, for charging ports um, and for charging the rechargeable batteries and um, there's actually quite a lot of cables here so um, and there's some also some additional screws and pieces, bits and pieces that we're going to need when we're setting it up so uh, you know before we even start using this we're going to need to read through the instructions pretty carefully and figure it all out but the most important thing about this Thing that we have to figure out straight away is um, it runs through an app off your phone. So we're going to have to download the app, the Zoom app, and then obviously it'll be a Bluetooth Wi-Fi connection, and you will be telling through your phone, you'll be telling the Zoom what it is you actually want it to do. And uh, so that's going to take a little bit of figuring out for us as well. Um, so, you know, given that we're, uh, Emily is new, we're, we're both new to this whole, um, you know, camera setup, um, it's going to take some time before we're able to confidently, you know, know exactly what we're doing. Um, you know, when we bought the 6400, we went on to YouTube, obviously, and looked at all of the videos of professional camera people who were explaining how to set up the Sony A6400 and it's actually very mind-boggling in fact it's it's, it's very intense and um, you know you sort of get overwhelmed by all the settings that it's got and by the time you've listened to one of these guys explaining what the camera can do you're completely confused and befuddled and pretty much you just leave it on automatic setting and, and, and leave it at that but you know we'll learn as time goes by so that's it. That's um, from 
me on behalf of Emily doing her unboxing and I hope you know you've enjoyed that and um, certainly you'll be seeing lots and lots of um, film coming through her vlog from the new camera setup. So, hmm? don't forget to subscribe. My oh, friend. right, of course, yeah. So, don't forget to subscribe. Like and subscribe. That would be really cool. We'll thank if you do that. And we've got a lot of new content coming. Actually, next week we're thinking there's a long weekend here. And we're thinking we'll go camping, sort of in the same kind of area where the intercon is at Fujira, on a nice beach there. So um, you can expect to see more from us uh, in a week or so. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you.